So, so as the northern hemisphere slides into fall, and well, we really don't feel much of that change here in Florida, uh, we all know that the changing season brings a change to the weather. But did you know that the sun also has seasons, or rather cycles? If you got a minute, I'll introduce you to the 11-year solar cycle and what that means for us on Earth. We see that the sun is this really complicated uh, miasma. That's Dan Seaton. He's a solar physicist at the University of Colorado. You know, a lot of activity uh, that actually can lead to big eruptions and outbursts from the sun that can affect us on Earth. There's an ebb and flow of solar activity that fluctuates through an 11 year cycle. Recently, things have been pretty calm. But we're gonna start to see a, an increase in activity over the next few years and space weather is going to be more important for our technological systems on Earth. That's right, space weather. And instead of rain and wind, in space, scientists track and predict the movement of energetic particles and magnetic fields coming from the sun. So for instance, uh, energetic particles from the sun can uh, hit the electronics on satellites and do damage to the satellites. And magnetic fields from the sun can actually interact with our power grids and do damage to our power grids. As the sun enters a more active cycle, it's good to know there are scientists or space weather forecasters that have a very similar job to Earth weather forecasters. You know, we use uh, computer models just like they have for Earth. We make uh, round the clock observations of the sun just like they make um, of the Earth's atmosphere. We use the same satellites uh, to make these observations and we issue warnings and alerts and watches just like uh, they do for Earth weather. Fascinating science and area of study. Now, while there can be some negative effects for us here on Earth from these solar eruptions, solar storms actually can lead to some pretty cool things as well. Big solar storms can cause the aurora, or you might know them, the northern lights to expand and potentially come as far south as Florida, right here in Tampa Bay. So, as we enter this active phase of the sun, you may want to check out the Space Weather Prediction Center's website for the latest aurora forecast and a live look at the sun. We've got that for you on 10tampabay.com.